Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Karno Kyokai movie number 7. This is 7 isn't it? Just let me check. Yeah, movie number 7. This is called Murder Speculation Part B. Okay, so um, from the uh, title, I, I'm i guessing like this is like a continuation of Murder Speculation Part A or but uh, as far as I can remember like uh, after like Shiki went into a coma we got that portion so like is this something different by this name we'll see we'll probably see and uh, I'm, I'm guessing like this is some kind of like uh, shares similarity with the first uh, second movie which was murder speculation a because we've already seen uh, after what happens to Shiki after coma so this is not a continuation so this is like something which is similar to it so yeah okay uh, i'll not talk uh, much because this is like almost two hours so let's get started without further ado and i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started so here's a countdown three two one go i had to cut the intro short because like this will take a long time so Okay, let's see. And I'll also talk, talk, talk less because my throat gets so sore after talking so much. <sighs> okay, this is a new house, isn't it? Or like he's visiting someone else, not Shiki. Oh, it is shaky. Wait, was this her house? Like the outside of it is different, isn't it? Or not? It might be my mistake. Anyways. Hmm. Flowers. Okay. Hmm. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Good news. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's gone to sleep. Okay. Oh, okay. This is Hmm. I would say obviously this is not a con uh, continuation of um, part A, which uh, of murder speculation. So I'm guessing like I was correct. Like this will be something which is similar to it, which is why it is called part B. Hmm. 
Okay. Who? Okay, this is They're all together, I think. Yeah. Holy Grail? Huh? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, she is mad. Hungry. <laughs> That is like that is something that might happen. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Wait. They've determined the murder of the same person. There were seven murder victims in before incident. Okay. This Slot, oh my god, okay. This can only kill one person in a lifetime. What? Mm. <laughs> okay, so this is after that. Oh no. <laughs> Two or three days since it died. Leaves leftovers. Hmm. Alligator. The alligator can't be a murderer. What the hell? Hmm. 
what's that? Okay, they're back. Oh, scope them. Something's bothering her, is it? Like, she... Okay. <laughs> the way she takes out her books, same as me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Just like the murder from four to four years ago. We have a date and time. If someone was killed that that night, then Shiki's alibi would be okay. Yeah, previous alibi she doesn't have, but yesterday he's he was there. Well, obviously. <laughs> What's a more fundamental question? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Compensator behavior, okay. Hmm. Well, she was, he was with Shiki one, not day, but night. Another victim. Information. 
Okay, so it is not shitty because like sh he was with him, uh, with her. According to the witness, uh, scattered ankles and wrists. Religion still unknown. Okay. Okay, let's see like where like there's not the time the time was not mentioned of the murder so like it can be all right she has not been there since she he called because the answering machine is still on okay so like I don't think it's shaky because if like if this is compensatory behavior she would have started it a long ago like even after losing the male personality within her she has like it's all been almost like what they call said four years I think isn't it so I doubt it's shaky oh no or not I don't know like Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that he saw some kind of dead body or something. Okay, it's clean. What the? Wait, what happened here? Okay. Oh, Arya, Arya came here at that time. Wait, so like Sora and Arya saved him or something like that? Okay, this is new. Okay. I'm trying to kill so you can run away. File of contract is appropriate and for file of contract. Okay, so why did how, why did she go in coma then? Like, oh, after this something's going to happen, I think. So just early to destroy that.
Okay. okay. She came into his senses now, like she understood what he she did. And she's running again. Oh no, I okay, so all right, I can guess what's going to happen now. Yeah, struck boom. Okay, I get it. Oh no, god damn. Okay, alright. So that's how she like was hospitalized. And what are these cars? Like they, they don't look at the road and drive or what? Like just like it didn't even stop, like it went through him, uh, through her. After hitting her. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, so we now know like what happened at that time. So Araya came in and I did not like expect that. Mm -hmm. Great dark alleys. <laughs> Alright. And evil crows. <laughs> Hotel Pavilion. Okay. So run a request. Oh, oh yeah. She remembers now, doesn't she? Okay. Oh, all right. So she, like. She, she feels guilt because of that or something like that hmm. Seventeen, all right. Newspaper, something like that. Yeah. Oh, it's um the d detective or Clue, okay. Back alley of the Okay. Oh no. Person.
Nope. Everything's fine. Yes. What? What is an LS3? What's an LSD? I have to check that out again later on. Murders and drugs. Okay, marijuana is like a drug. So LSD is. Okay, so, all right. Mikia, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, this is a bad place. Okay, who is this? Yeah. Red ones. By the voice, I think it's a girl, isn't it? Or not, I don't know. Don't give a jump scare, please. Like, mm. 
Okay, no jump scares. I thought they were like going to give a jump scare or something. <laughs> All right. Someone's following her. What? Who is that? What the? So many people. Oh, these are like, I think, just like ruffians or some. Well, this is self defense, like. And you're dead. That was self defense. Like, what else do you expect? Scattered body parts. Oh, okay, so this guy is like one of those people who like... Try that. What? What was Hansel and Gretel for forgot the story? <laughs> I completely forgot. Like it's getting mixed up in my head. Police have decided to investigate the suspicious person wearing a Hmm. Okay. Running again? Is it the rain or what? Yeah, it's because of the rain. And thank God there were no puddles, or she he would have been like drenched. And, and that girl. Oh. Okay, calm down. Hmm. Doing it and the people doing it and the kill. Oh, 
Oh, there are a lot of people who wear kimonos. And misinformation. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, like, Shiki does everything for self defense, at least now. But when she does it, she's like brutal and everything. Like, that's in her, what can I say? I don't think it's shaky, like... Dependent and too strong. Blood chip. Oh, that thing, isn't it? All right, okay. Yeah, those things. Township and red color. Oh, okay. Boss, mate. Boss? Hmm. The bottom. Hmm. All right, okay. Um, what? Okay, it's going to be revealed later on, alright. And Kokto knows, I think, him or her, whoever is dealing. Hmm. Okay. Move closer to the business needs to take this and it's coming inside. Hmm. 
want to think that I'm alone okay so Okay, so um, I think we're going to see something here. Yes, so it's proven. It was not Shiki. And there's a murderer, whoever. Okay, he's eating. Wait! So the murderer is copying Shiki's attire. Oh, or not yeah kind of like the jacket thing and the kimono or it's that guy from like uh, I think the previous movie wasn't it like after the end credits we saw him okay Damn, they're like wearing the same clothes almost. Okay. Oh. Okay, she got him. And was unable to kill him. So I guess she's changing. Four years ago, so this guy knows her. Okay, uh, all right, I get it. Like, I 
what happened four years ago what What? No. What the hell? Oh my god, here we go. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going against towards Mickey, Mickey. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, just cut off his hands. He won't be able to kill anymore. Like that's the best method. <laughs> Just slash his left hand as well, or right hand, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Like, <laughs> uh, if the other hand was cut off as well, what's happening? Okay, cut off as well, like, <laughs> the thing would have been solved so easily. <laughs> like, he, he remains alive, but he won't be able to kill. But, like, uh, I don't know. I <laughs> just think <laughs> something like that. Hmm. What? What place is this? Okay, is this like the murderer's room or something like that? Mm, I 
not understand what was I met her Man, talk about her Yeah, it's that guy. Like, maybe from the oh, wait. So he like he's from the same school. Oh, all right. So. all right okay so he was like crazy from the beginning like and after Sora and I I met him <laughs> I hit myself and can't even look at myself at the room hmm That man wasn't the only one who died then. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so like he was stalking her all the time. Like the things that are being shown. Well, okay. It's coming back. Oh no. And you better run. Oh, this is Wait, 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 wait. It's that guy, isn't it? Like, from one of the movies. Or, or not, like, I'm, I'm missing something. Okay, 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 like... Well, yeah, obviously, because, like, that was... Wait, what? All right.
consumption. And he's going mad. All right. Okay, like um my memory is kind of hazy. Like I think I saw this guy before, didn't I? Like in one of the movies, but I can't remember. I'll have to check it out later on, like... So, another thing I'm a bit confused was when Kokuto said that... Nah, that guy said that I was not the murderer four years ago and Kokuto said, said that no, you're lying. Like, so... Like, those murders, Shiki did not commit that or what? Like, why did... Mikia said that you're lying. Like, was it something else? Because I'm, I was quite sure, like, that was Shiki, wasn't it? Like, the previous murders. Shiki's, uh, because of the split personality. falling oh Ooh. oh it's shaking Yep.
Well, the thing is, like, yeah. Like, if Shiki continues to kill even murderers, she won't be able to come back, like, from the shell that she has made within, uh, around her heart. Like, she has to stop killing completely to break free of that thing. Like, the thing that she's doing is not, like, what can I say? In, Like, she's killing murderers. But even if she is killing murderers, she's killing. Close to Wonder to go. Well, he is like always with you, so obviously a person won't be able to judge her character with own character, but the person besides them would be able to do it more easily. Okay, so like, no, 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 I, I was thinking like, so four years ago, what happened, like, she was the killer, wasn't she, or not? Has been reincarnated into something. Else. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that is the origin. But life doesn't exist at that place. Started back to one direction that did it. Impulse. Instincts. Okay. Okay. So you lose a concentration. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So everyone is born with this. Like, not born, like, in each and every life they're reincarnated into. The origin will be the same. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Wow, this is like really interesting. After all of your favorites. Oh, okay. Interesting. A beast rather than a human. Well, he's called Shirazim in Leo for a reason. Hmm. Um, well, eventually he would have like. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So, Final technique. Hmm. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, like these are like so it becomes much more Put the dignity and the past on scale. Okay. Wow, like, damn, the explanations in this movie. Okay, yes, technically she is correct. <laughs> yeah, like those are not humans, like they just like needlessly kill. You can only kill one person in their lifetime. Last one. Okay, so she did not kill, or, or uh, am I misunderstanding something? Like she killed four years ago. Or was it something that her personality did? That is why they're like, 
like negate saying that no Shiki did not kill it because it was technically that did, did by the split personality either of those like either Shiki did not kill them as uh, Leo said that uh, when Kokto was talking with Leo he said that you're lying so either like Leo killed them all and Shiki was like mistaking it for like her split personality's job like she was thinking like this must be something that I did because my split personality did or something like that either that or it is as okay Azaka is here <laughs> okay. Well. Well, she is like a wandering magus or something like that. So she said that I've been here for quite a long time. Okay, hmm. Okay, like these are the drugs, aren't they? Hmm. Mm, okay. All right, here we go. Okay, too loud. Damn, he's like uh, prancing around. And here we go. Well, that was quick. He's still like... Okay, uh, Leo is still like keeping his sanity. That is surprising. Like he was like at the brink of madness. Uh, 
अब ओके Wait, what happened? so he could and the dream shiki is watching okay chance to allow ourselves to die can only kill someone once so kill someone is used it up okay all right okay 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 so okay like so this is more like a metaphorical thing
you can kill only one person in a lifetime and that is you but if you use it on someone else you won't be able to die as a human basically that's it <sighs> and here we go again <laughs> okay well okay so he like he is like losing control And okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. You were unable to kill me again last night. Okay, um, can you please stop this? Why haven't you killed once yet? Okay, so she really didn't kill that means it doesn't count if you kill someone. Okay, so it is confirmed. She did not kill. Okay, please stop. Homicide will actually exist. Well, yeah. I can't concentrate. The things that are happening. Ah, oh, like I can't concentrate on the subs. Okay, stop, please. What the hell? How much saliva does this guy have? God damn. Ugh. What the hell? Oh. Oh my god, okay, okay.
Okay, so it's all on Chicky. Wait, what's happening? Is he healing or something? And this guy. Wait, what? Oh, okay, look, so he was trying to like... Alright, so he was like doing those things. Total wiper sent after a few dozen uses, okay. That's what people are putting. It just worked like the others died. Same as oh, okay. You must be the one who killed the four guys on Monday. Oh, okay. Like, she <laughs> like, so he was behind it all. Some kind, some kind of painkiller or what? Okay, all right. Yeah, that that was. I think that is some kind of painkiller. Like he was eating it before as well. After his hand got cut out. <coughs> oh, it's ten times more potent than marijuana. Okay. So it is some kind of like <laughs> Hmm.
you won't do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, the slaughterer. I hope he's okay, like... Bit of your thumb. I don't think you've done it for her, like...
Wait, what? It... I don't think it's dead. Like, how can it be dead? Or like what? Like I, I kind of saw like his eye got slashed or something like that. Oh no, he, she's trying to die, like... Yeah, she's trying to die, like... Okay, so yeah. Well, her first kill.
Mickey is probably all right. Like, like we, like I just saw him like getting kind of flashed. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank God. Well, I think like Leo also didn't want to kill him, so he kind of like slashed his like skin and made uh, Shiki and provoked Shiki so that Shiki could kill him in turn. Yeah, her, his eyes got. But uh, there's also the thing with that drug. Like, he was saying something like he would try and die in within some. <laughs> Ouch. <clears throat> like. Okay. Where is uh, Leo? I can't see his body. Yeah, where is Leo's body? Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, like there's no choice. All right. Well, that was good. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was the best movie. Like I liked um the Paradox uh, Spiral one, but this one tops it definitely. Wow. Oh. Like in this movie there were a lot of things that were so good like explanation of the origin and everything like the way they're able to explain stuff and the what can I say the reasonings they come up with are like so good like one thing that I really liked was that um, when they said that the what the origin was like like it's the thing that is like the impulse from where everything starts and that impulse goes through different lives and you don't remember that impulse within like when you are alive in that life but if you remember your impulse somehow you live each and every life that you've led up until now all the reincarnations you've gone through and like you are not able to control yourself like that impulse comes back and like in this case Leo was like a predator his impulse was to kill so when he remembered his impulse he was un uh, like his origin he was unable to stop himself and he, like he went through all of his pre previous reincarnations and everything wow this song is so good and he like and because like his impulse was of consume consuming killing he started killing so like just take another person if his impulse was let's take something else for example and like what else can i take something as an impulse mm, impulse to um i can't find any example like what can you take as an impulse? An impulse to... Um, 
I don't know. Anyways, any kind of impulse, just like I, I can't take my like um like I can't think of an example. Like if it's like another person had that kind of impulse or like origin, which was not murder or consumption. If he remembers it, he would like try to do that. So it is different for different people. So like even if Kokto remembered her, his impulse and awakened it. If it was not of murder or consumption, he would definitely like try to uh, fulfill his impulse, but that would be like of something different. And by his like uh, mannerisms and everything, I doubt his impulse of, of, is of murder. So it is definitely something like good, like Kokuto's impulse or Kokuto's origin. So like he would like try to go back to that starting place, like. He would like start looking for that place from where he was originate when he or originated from that is his origin so i really like that explanation like okay so there are still two more movies left isn't it so like there's something more left i really enjoyed this movie this movie was the best i can say like this is the seventh movie and out of all of them this takes the top spot <coughs> Like, uh, this movie did not have much thinking to do, like, it was straightforward and all, but it had a lot of symbolisms and a lot of, what can I say, explanations and uh, stuff like those. You guys can understand what I'm trying to say. So another thing that got cleared in, in this movie was Shiki did not kill anyone. Like, uh, like, up until now, even I thought, like... She was like a murderer, like, uh, obviously she did not do it, like, the spit personality was kind of like an indirect, indirect cause. But turns out, like, she did not kill, and, uh, like, Leo was killing everyone, because he wanted to, like, drag Shiki back. Uh, like, drag Shiki, not back, but drag Shiki down, to his level, and, just because he wanted someone who was like him. Like, Shiki had that, but she did not act on it and that made him like the better person uh, made her sorry okay what happened to his eyes let's see <laughs> he's like Sasuke now what the hell <laughs> all right Well, at least she came in the end. <laughs> well, at least it like went on an eye. She's on it. Who was? Oh, yeah, I can kind of remember her. Like, there was... <laughs> All right.
Yep, okay. <laughs> All right, another genuine smile. Yeah, like that was the only thing that you have to do, like you have to accept it, then you will be at peace. Like there's a lot of things that happens in the world, a lot of unfair things and all, but if you just accept it and think of the future, all the good things, then you'll be able to save yourself. That's basically the thing. like. Uh, Shiki's that, that was just basically Shiki's life like you just accept it Okay All right, that was really good. Okay guys. I'll be back. I'll just pause the recording a bit I don't want to lose it if something unexpected happens like when Patty goes down or something else So I'll just be back just a sec. Okay guys. I'm back. All right, so let's talk about this episode um, uh, Sorry this movie so i have to say uh at first like this was the best movie uh in my opinion and i loved it it was so good like um we got to lot, know a lot of things and everything and uh, okay let's talk about this um all right so here we see uh she uh, leo um that guy okay now here's the thing I think that, like, just a sec, uh, I think that I probably saw him before, I, I can't remember, like, in one of the movies, uh, like, it is kind of coming into my mind, so, um, just a sec, or I, uh, or I might be wrong, like, Oh no 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 I'm wrong okay so so sorry I was like mixing him with someone I was mixing him with you guys remember that guy um from one of the movies where who like committed uh like what can I say committed oh the, uh, that guy from um what was her name um god damn it uh, Asagami Asagami Fujino from that movie uh like I, I I was like mixing from with one of those guys. So no no I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong. Okay, he is like he he like he was present in the uh, all of the movies, but they, he was not shown. Like uh like we got we saw like he probably like stopped Shiki and uh, like after Shiki like injured people and like stopped them from harming her in, like in because of self defense and all. He was like um like he killed them. And tried to like uh, bring uh, Shiki down to like his level so that he can like get a partner or something like he wanted someone like him so that was the reason and so he was like uh, acting behind the scenes in each and every movie uh, as I can say and like he also said something like uh, like he uh, like told uh, like uh, you got like uh, in one of the movies we we could see like uh, Kokto was talking with someone in like the diner huh he was not shown like uh, his back, back portion was only shown so like as he said that he was also the guy who like like kind of like led Mikia to a place where like uh, where he had killed people and uh, tried to pin the blame on Shiki so that Mikia would be like angry with Shiki or like Mikia would be scared of Shiki and uh like what can i say like uh something like that did she say just a sec yeah he was saying something like that like uh he like led uh, mikia to one of the places so 
yeah so he was like behind each and everything and another thing is like basically he was like what can i say like he was like he had an obsession towards shiki and everything like uh, those kind of tw twisted love that you see and like that was the main um like uh start of e like his insanity and everything and like after the rejection like uh, at that time when he like confessed to shiki and all she was what can i say like she was uh like rejecting each and every one like she uh, herself was like uh quite uh, disturbed in, in herself and uh, at that time uh, the thing that he did was he like abruptly went and like uh like i think what did she do yeah he confessed his love to shiki but shiki said something like you're weak and all and like obviously he she would like uh, act like that because like here's the thing the thing that he did was like just went there and like confessed and gave up kind of gave up but the thing that mikia did was like he was together with shiki from the beginning to the end and he took his time and that is why that is the reason why shiki like warmed up to him and all like if Leo was uh, in the place of Mikia and the Mikia was in the place of Leo and Mikia like came in and just like uh, confess just like that I'm sure like Shiki would have like acted the same towards him as well because like she was not in the you know, like mentality to like accept a confession when uh, like sh like she was like that at that time she was mentally unstable because of all the split personality thing and all so obviously like if they interchanged their position the story would have been completely opposite but like mikia took his time and was like uh, was with her for a long time stayed with her and like like uh, because of all of that obviously uh, shiki accepted mikia eventually and that was like uh, the thing that uh, leo did wrong and obviously because after the rejection on all he like started to kind of get uh, like crazy and all and uh, like try to vent his frustrations and killed a person and like that like killing that person also like snapped him snapped something inside him like he was already kind of like a little mentally unstable and crazy but after killing someone he became complete crazy and uh, like that was not all after that um, Araya came in and he also kind of provoked him and like gave him uh, what can I say a way like the way to unlock his origin and uh, to remember his origin that way he gave him the method to like become full on like full on <laughs> maniac so like all of these things like they piled on top of each other and that was the reason why he like became like that it's an unfortunate incident like um like even if at least one thing was not present that he would probably not end up like this as he said before like if um, mikia was the one who he tried to kill uh, at first he would probably be at a different place because one punch wouldn't have killed him like something like that like if uh, like if he did not commit the murder nothing would have happened like this so yeah like in its in, in a sense Arya kind of gave him uh, the weapon to kill like he literally gave him the weapon or the means or the strength to uh, like continue the killings uh, like if like Arya did not uh, come in front of him and gave him the method to unlock his origin he would probably be like a normal killer and would have been neutralized easily ne uh, and uh, none of this would have happened but yeah like uh, like like all of these unfortunate events piling on top of each other things like this happened and the funny thing is like uh, like uh, in that scene where like he was like licking all over shiki and all it was disgusting obviously but i don't know like uh, like if this was some other type of characters other kind of characters i would probably hated him from like uh, just take another character from uh, uh, the fate universe the type moon universe i'm talking about um shinji if you guys have seen fate stay night i'm talking about shinji like i hate shinji's guts 
obviously because of some reasons you guys know if you have like played the visual novel or like uh, the movies of heaven's field because of some reasons i'm not saying it because if there's someone here who has not watched heaven's field or like played the visual novel he'd get spoiled so because of some reasons i hate his guts obviously and uh, like the reason i because i hate shiki uh, is not because of that reason but because of like his uh, arrogance his like the things he says like he is an arrogant little brat like he is so arrogant that it like it makes me mad and like he is doing something wrong and uh, uh, on top of it he's arrogant and he like he does not acknowledge the reason that he is he does not acknowledge that he is bad and that is the main reason that i get mad at him but at the same time i i'm not as mad at uh, on this guy uh, as shinji because obviously this guy knows that he's doing something bad like he acknowledges it he knows that he's like a murderer he's a um maniac a homicidal maniac and he acknowledges it and accepts it and that is the only reason why i like i i hate him obviously i hate him for uh, uh, not hate him i i do not like him i dislike him not hate him but i definitely does not do not hate him like hate is a strong word i've said this before as well like hate is a very strong word and i do not like using that like uh, except a special specific set of people obviously shinji i hate him but this guy i does not i do not hate him i dislike him like the things he did was were definitely wrong but he was at least human enough to acknowledge that yeah i'm doing something wrong and that is the thing that separates dislike from hate at least according to me like there are definitely a lot of people opinions might differ but this is my opinion and uh, yeah okay so uh, yeah in this movie like uh, this movie was amazing like uh first of all i was at, at the beginning i was a little bit confused like i was confused at when he, like uh, mikia said that you're lying to leo that uh, like uh, you killed him uh, killed the people uh, shiki did not kill them and at that time i was a bit confused i was thinking like did he or did he not or like was this some kind of a way of saying that yeah shiki spit personality did it so technically shiki did not de- do it so it was something like that or like really shiki did not kill anyone so at the end of the movie i can understand that she did not kill anyone like at least un- until the end of the movie like at the end she kills uh, leo so yeah and another thing i really liked in this movie was the explanation of that kill like uh, his her grandfather said that you can only kill one person in your lifetime and this thing is so what can i say like so uh, meaningful and like the thing that he tried to say was the only person you sh- can uh, you should kill is yourself like uh, like obviously like you should not commit suicide i'm not talking about that like like uh, you like the only person you're allowed to kill is yourself by that i mean that you are allowed to acknowledge that yeah i'm like i'm i'm going to die now like that kind of thing like obviously you should not commit suicide or kill yourself that is wrong in many ways like and that is not something someone should do but his grandfather definitely did not mean it like that he meant it in a more what can i say spiritual sense or a more uh, like uh, that type of sense not like literally kill yourself not that so like uh, like yeah that is the thing but if you kill someone else during your lifetime you lose the Uh, only like uh, you lose the uh, um, freedom of your own death like you like you, you kill yourself as well at that time like the human within within you also gets killed at that time and you do not uh, like possess the right to kill yourself anymore uh, someone or and or someone else should have to like kill you or like something like that he tried to say like i can understand the meaning behind it like it it, it was such a what can i say Uh, meaningful message and uh, in the end where as uh, like shiki said that i have lost my right i lost my right to kill myself for that like i committed that one kill that you were supposed to do in your lifetime and mikia said that i'll like burden your sin but like in a small simple method uh, like the like the thing that uh, me uh, mikias and grandfather tried to say was that you should not commit the sin of killing someone else 
like you should not commit the sin like if you commit that sin like that would be like that would be like a sin like that was something that is you can't take back and you should not do that in your lifetime even if you do it it would probably be like uh, kept for your own self but if you commit uh, a sin in your life that is killing someone then like you you lose the human within you you lose the right of like the human within you and like uh, you have to keep, like carry the burden your whole life unless and until someone else comes at your side and like uh, and uh, accepts to carry the burden alongside you and that is mikia here <laughs> and like like so good like the way they like said like uh made like uh gave the message like it was so amazing and like uh, these are all the reasons like why i like this movie so much there like there was a lot of things which were so amazing and uh, like uh, otherwise this movie was like it was quite a long movie obviously and uh, like i'm also talking for a long time it's been 15 minutes i'm talking about but i really want to say a lot of things so like i i like i'm not trying to like cut this short so okay and after that um yeah like uh, another thing was with that um drugs and all like uh, Leo tried to bring s people like at his own level like in a sense like he was lonely I can say in like in a one word he was lonely and all and um, like he knew that he was crazy and like he wanted a partner who was as crazy as him and that is the reason why like he uh, like like uh, he had his eyes on Shiki because like at some place he was she was kind of like mentally unstable and like he was deaf she was definitely not fully crazy but uh, like she had some kind of complication obviously because of the split personality and everything that she went through his her life so like he tried to like take advantage of it and drag Shiki to her level uh, to his level but obviously like Shiki did not commit any crime or anything like that and uh, like she was able to control him herself and like as uh, in the last portion Mikia always uh, also says one thing like you are completely opposite of Shiki like Shiki tried to uh, withhold her urges and like like made an effort to like she knew that she was flawed in some ways but she made some effort to like stop that at its tracks but this guy he was like a complete maniac he just killed like that and another thing that um, I really liked is like uh, Toko's words like uh, I I'm going to like um, just uh, say those things again uh, just a sec I'm going to like quote it Ah, Mikia says that why does a person kill another person and Toko says it's when the emotion you feel towards someone gets over your capacity be it love or hate yeah be it love or hate the emotion that spills out of your container has to be cleaned up one way or another and that's why like people kill and obviously like uh, the majority of people kill because of hate like that goes overboard that spills out and there are also a few uh, like it is less than hate but few reason because of love people also kill like like if you like uh, like for example as someone cheats someone and the other person was like madly in love with that person he might she might he or she might commit a crime because of that like that is like something coming from love or like trying to protect someone like you're trying to protect someone like and he or she is in danger uh, for because of love you commit a, a crime and that is like because you like you're trying to protect him or her or be it uh, yourself like you're committing something like you're trying to, to you kill someone because of self-defense that is also because of love because you love yourself that is also reason why like uh, like uh, like this was a really good like quote like be it love or like uh, that's the main thing like that's the only two things that you can commit crime for like love or hate like if you like simplify it uh, like there, there might be a lot of reasons why people commit crime but if you simplify it and break it down to the smallest bits 
That's the only thing, love or hate. Because of either reasons, people commit a crime. And like, that is so good. Like, the, the things that these, uh, this movie, like, conveys and all. Like, they're so, what can I say, like, meaningful and all. And, okay, and then she says, like, when this method becomes extreme, it becomes murder. And, uh, but there are people who kill without that. Yeah, that's not murder, that's slaughter, Toko says. Uh, it only becomes murder when people put their dignity and their past on a scale and uh, eliminate one. Wow, so, so good, like these. So, like, if you commit a murder, that is when you, like, kill someone after agonizing and after thinking, like, yeah, I'm killing someone. And, like, you understand that, yeah, I'm killing someone. And you put, as she said, your dignity and their past on a scale. And you are, like, uh, like you carry that burden of murder through, throughout your whole life after committing it. That is murder. But if you, like, just kill people just like that, slaughtering, that is not mur murder. That is, like, like, meaningless slaughter. There is no dignity or anything like involved in that, and you do not like carry the burden as well. Like this is also something like uh, people who are like in the military, for example. Like they're not committing murder; they're committing like uh, like they're, they're killing people like that because of their duty and all. And there are some people who like uh, carry the burden of those killings, but they like they become either mentally afflicted like in military like you have to kill a lot of people w without even knowing who the other person is like that's just your job like that like you have to kill otherwise you like your teammates will die and stuff like that and your country will be at danger so like like people kind of like shut off their emotions and that and i can like categorize that as some kind of uh, not slaughter obviously the, the, like you're doing this because of your love for your country that like love and hate uh, is also like involved in that but that is also a kind of uh, like a branch of that so like if like uh, just think of something like that like if a person in a military like after killing someone started bearing the burden like uh, let's see say that he like killed 50 people in uh, in uh, like throughout his lifetime uh, due to war and stuff like those like if you are like bearing each and every burden of that 50 uh, souls you will be like crushed like like you will be mentally uh, like what can i say affected be because of that so like they kind of like kill off their emotions and like just do it because they have to do it and uh, like that is not murder like that is kind of like a slaughter but at the same time it is not slaughter because you're doing it because of your love for your country your love for your loved ones stuff like those and slaughter does not involve that slaughter is mindless killing so it is like kind of like in a gray area so yeah like these things and uh, you then you bear the significance and the sin of killing someone as i was saying the sin like that is the thing that his her grandfather tried to uh, say to shiki that you should only only commit one crime uh, one uh, uh, murder in your life and if you do like uh, use it on someone else other than you then you'll have to carry the whole burden of, of killing that person throughout your life okay but slaughter is different the one who was killed is human but the one who killed lacks the dignity of a human and is no longer human yeah if you like kill mindlessly and do not bear the burden or do not think about it even and uh, you uh, like you lack the dignity of a human then you're not a human like that is just mindless slaughter and which in a sense was leo like he was like like doing all of this not because of love like uh, i can't say that he was doing it because of his love for shiki he just was selfish he just wanted someone with him who would share the burden with him but there was no one like you were killing yourself you are you should be prepared to uh, like carry the burden yourself for the whole, your whole life otherwise like that like you you lose the dignity of a human being <laughs> but he was like just like wanted someone with him killing someone means killing yourself yeah when you kill someone you kill two people <sighs> then what is a homicidal maniac it's just the sounds it's a maniac that kills people, so it's just like a natural disaster, yes. Like, that is kind of a crude way of saying, but at the same time, it is like, true, the truth. Those who are involved with it are just unlucky, yes. 
wow like this movie like like i can talk for an hour or two for about this movie and like there were so many things but obviously i can't do that like it is already like 23 minutes i'm talking about this but i loved this so much and obviously after that we come to a portion where like shiki is trying to like um like uh, kill uh, leo but like she also remembers like cook those words that she says that he said that you should not kill someone if you kill leo i will like hate you for the rest of my life and like that scene where it came like when like kokoto was like leaking all over and that was like disgusting and all but as i said before like i really can't like hate him as much as i hate some other people like shinji obviously from the fake series like i hate that guy because obviously i said this before and well like this guy like leo he knows he's doing something wrong and he uh, by that he is carrying the burden of the wrong thing but shinji uh, in fate stay night i don't know he he was just a uh, annoying type of kid i really did not, not like him like, i hated him but yeah and like after that um kokuto comes in and uh, uh like after that we also kind of like understand why he was like circulating those drugs and all he just wanted to make someone mad and like join him but in the end he found out like yeah there's no one uh, like on the only the guy person who could probably come to his world is shiki and like he was so obsessed with shiki that was the reason why uh, like that was all kind of like a misunderstanding like shiki could have went uh, on his path but obviously he she did not because mikia was with him like if uh, mikia was not in shiki's life who knows maybe shiki would probably have been someone like leo and like would be like a homicidal maniac like uh like uh, mikia really like just like saved shiki like uh, him being with inside her life with, like along with her throughout the whole time helped a lot and uh, helped him uh, helped her to be and another thing if we, i can think it, it like this as well like like just imagine like uh, if uh, leo also had someone like mikia in his life maybe just maybe he like things wouldn't have ended like this he maybe like he would have also been changed by that person so like these are all like bad luck and like all like things like coincidences and everything coming together and like an un unfortunate uh, incidents like this happened an unfortunate uh, uh, like uh, thing for leo happened just because of this and yeah like like in one word i can just say that leo was unlucky like he was really unlucky in a lot of uh, ways and that kind of like pushed him to the edge and he remembered his origin and uh, and in the end like after that uh, shiki obviously thought that uh, mikia was dead so that was the reason why like he she was unable to forgive leo and was forced to kill him and that's just being human like you can't do anything about that and uh, <clears throat> and at, like at that time she kind of lost the like uh, freedom of killing someone and like murder like he committed a murder and this was the first and the last time and uh, and like after that like she has to carry the burden with her forever like this would probably come to haunt her later as, as well but thank god like as as i said like mikia is there with her and uh, like he is there to carry the burden with her and be with her uh, like and help her throughout uh, his like whole life and her whole life and that was like main thing like yeah like like in a way shiki was saved and uh, yeah and, and that was also the reason why like mikia was always asking shiki like don't kill don't kill because like the if you like dirty your hands you like that uh, that stain would never leave your hand and you have to like carry the burden forever and uh, like and also if like he committed some murder and like like obviously like uh, without someone's help 
she would like start to like go down that path and because mikia is with her she would definitely like not even if she like tries to go down that path mikia would stop him uh, stop her in the future and yeah that was it yeah and uh, mikia like lost his one of his eyes but that's okay he looks cool now <laughs> yeah but that's like a small price to pay for uh like saving shiki and and this i kind of said like uh, my story ends here i don't know like i think there are two more movies left so i don't know what those are about so probably we'll next uh, week we're going to see what that is so yeah like like this is like an amazing movie i really loved it like this was like one of its kind and obviously if i had not seen the previous movies um uh, before this i would definitely not appreciate it as much as i appreciate it now so like you have to like uh, like watch all of the chronicles all of the chron like all of the movies before this um, uh, if you want to like appreciate this movie so much more like yeah like this was really good like this was like the best movie of this franchise and like it it, it deserves like a 9.5 5 out of 10 like it was so good <laughs> so yeah guys like i i'm talking for a long time it's like 30 minutes i'm talking about i'm going to stop now this is like going to take a long time to render like i i really wanted to share all of my things that i wanted to share here like this was such a good movie that like i had to share all of these things so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching if you guys uh, enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed because that helps a lot and uh, yeah that makes me happy <laughs> anyways so yeah and uh, yeah i'll be uh, and comment down below anything you want to share about this episode anything you want to say i love this episode uh, movie anyway uh, i'm mixing it up i love this movie this is so good and uh, yeah i'll be back with another movie in the next week and i'm like i'm 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 thinking like what it would is going to be about um i'm hoping it would be some kind of like an epilogue of this so yeah i'm quite excited to see what that is so yeah guys i'll be back with a new karno kyokai movie in the next week so <laughs> okay so <laughs> until then goodbye and have a nice day and i'm going to take it's going to take a lot of time rendering so yeah i should probably stop now so yeah guys bye and i'll be back with uh, a new video next week of karno kyokai so goodbye